Hello and welcome to Author Informs How To Workshop. My name is David Massey. This issue's um, topic, we're going to have a look at turbo cleaning. Now, before we get involved with the process about turbo cleaning, how it works, I really want to point out how important it is to identify what the problem is first. Because if you've got a situation where you have a turbo like this, i.e. bearings are completely let go, it ain't going to work. It's as simple as that. This turbo has been run without oil and of a very, very poor quality. So cleaning just ain't going to work. As simple as that. However, on the other hand, if we've got a situation like this turbo here, which we've already stripped so you can clearly see the carbon build up inside, um, this cleaning product will help literally decoke all of this carbon and oil off and around the veins and the flange in which it sits. Normally you would have a control ring also heavily carboned. That would normally sit on there like that. Obviously you've got a direct link between the actuator arm and the control ring and the carbon deposit, what it does in effect is literally seize that mechanism, not allowing a full flow of air across the turbo. Symptoms would normally be um, intermittent lacking boost, um, over boost situations, easily identifiable um, through some simple tests. So situation like this, we're going to have a high success rate in, uh, in sorting this out. All we'll do in this process is simply form a gasket around the turbo using simply cardboard, which is provided within this kit. That will sit on like that. We'll invert the turbo in this case and we'll put the, the solution through the top. This will foam and over time approximately about an hour, something like that, will help clean out all the carbon deposits. This particular product um, by Innertech is a three-stage cleaning process. The first stage will obviously decarbonize all the carbon oil deposits in there. The second stage is a rinse agent. This will help clean out the remaining um, cleaning products and carbon deposits. And the third stage is a flush treatment, which is designed to go into the fuel filter, be combusted and help prevent future carbon buildup in the turbo. Okay, so quite simply what we're going to do is fit this gasket onto the turbo. What would ordinarily happen, you would carry out this process obviously in situ, so you wouldn't, like I said, see this part of the turbo. You would form the gasket around where the downpipe goes onto the turbo and force the chemical in that way. In a moment, what we're going to do is invert this turbo and seal the top in the same fashion. And we'll apply the, the first cleaning process, the decarbonizing chemical. And leave it to stand for about an hour. Right, great, ready to go now. Sealed. We'll flip that over. So, what would ordinarily happen on this turbo would form a gasket around where the downpipe goes, three flange bolts there, gasket goes on in situ and you would force the chemical in through that way. This would obviously save a lot of time removing the turbo and cleaning it that way. So gasket on the top, give it a good shake. As you can see, I'm wearing gloves. I would recommend wearing them. This is quite an aggressive chemical. Keep it well away from your eyes. Put that in there. Make sure you keep the lid down. All we're going to do now is fill that chamber up. Okay, you just see at the bottom there, it's just creeping out of us slightly, it's not a perfect seal. This compound is going to sit in that turbo and really aggressively clean all the carbon and oil deposits off there. It's important you try and keep as much of that in there as possible, let it do its job.
We'll let this stand now for about an hour's time, something like that, and we'll come back and see some results. Okay? Okay, so an hour's passed since we last applied the chemical. Um, we're about ready to apply what we call phase two, or the rinsing process of this procedure. Um, all we're going to do here, have a look at the turbo, inspect it inside. You can start to see really how aggressive and how well this, these chemicals works inside. The carbon which was in there before has turned into this really quite a thick sludge, um, really, really dark in colour. Um, just to prove to the camera, that's what was in the turbo. It worked work really quite well. Um, all I'm going to do is invert the turbo again. Again, I must reiterate this point. You can do this in situ on the car. The only reason I've taken the turbo off is for demonstration purposes. This process is designed to save you time and money. Make sure, guys, you keep your gloves on because this chemical is quite aggressive. And if you have an open wound, a cut, a graze on your hand, as you know, you'll certainly find out this stuff gets in there. So, wear gloves at all times. Not to mention the mess. What I love about this, this procedure, this process, obviously, it saves us a hell of a lot of time stripping the turbo down, removing it. Um, customers nowadays are always looking for a cheaper option to fix the car. Because new turbos average cost between six and 700 pounds. Um, this chemical um, solution we've got here, the package costs around 40 quid. I would ordinarily charge something like an hour's labour to hour and a half to, to apply it, taking the cost to about £100, £120 plus your VAT, your tax, um, making it a very, very, very cost effective way of, of repairing these, these sticking veins on the turbo. But I must again stress how important it is to correctly diagnose this and these symptoms. For example, if you've got a turbo which has been damaged through what I call chemical erosion or fuel contamination, this isn't going to fix it. Or if you've got a split vein, uh, sorry, a split actuator, again, this isn't going to fix it. If you've got carbon buildup, oil buildup, this is the perfect solution. It will work. I've tried it and it works. So we're about ready, as you can see. Looks a bit of a mess at the minute. Um, we're going to apply stage two, the cleaning solution. Um, make sure you do it on a stainless trolley or somewhere you can uh, afford to get dirty. Right, that's number one. Number two. Right. So again, make sure you've got good, good working space. Try and keep away from anything made of plastic or anything of value, because this is going to splash everywhere, make a bit of a mess. You notice straight away, it's quite a powerful cleaning agent, plenty of pressure behind there. It literally just washing this carbon away like a, a hot knife through butter, it's fantastic. Really, really good. I'll just stop that for the camera and show you. It's pretty thought it's done. Absolutely fantastic. All that carbon's just dripping out, it's absolutely spotlessly clean. You start to feel freedom already in the veins. Spot on. So we'll carry on this process. Blast it all off. Due to the carbon buildup and how excessive it was, it's impossible to have a look at the condition of the veins and the control, control ring, as I call it. But now we've cleaned some of the carbon off straight away, you can see how clean it is in there. And that the fact the face is actually quite clean. I think, you know, with this procedure will have a successful repair. So we'll just carry on washing the carbon off. Can't believe how well it's worked. It's, it's absolutely spotless in there now. It really does eat through that carbon. What I would recommend as you're doing this, <coughs> um, Normally, again, it will be in situ on the car. If you've got the ability, or you've got a Mitivac vacuum pump, just operate the actuator. Just get this, this ring movement moving. Um, <laughs> two people will be ideal, obviously. One person squirting, one person moving the actuator. But as you're going along, just move each vein on the turbo, get nice and free. 
that just helps the carbon just free off. A bit of elbow grease there. Whereas before, these veins, these could link these link arms, were absolutely sea solid. They really were. Now they're moving very, very freely. So where we had a sticking turbo before, over boost, under boost. I'm pretty confident once we re um, refit this to the car, we'll have no problem whatsoever. Absolutely spot on. I'm just going to carry on rinsing it. There's a bit more carbon to rinse off. This particular turbo, um, brand new, about 800 pounds. Again, this procedure is quick, it's easy. It's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of money. The customer is going to be your new best friend. I was a bit sceptical at first, before I used this product, whether it would work or not. Um, I offered it to the customer. She happily agreed to go ahead and take the risk, have a go with it. And um, the car's still out there today working, so I've been really impressed with the results so far. Really am. Just free them off again. Yeah, a lot better. A lot, lot better. Right, guys, the rinsing process is almost finished. Um, I might get this into the wash tank in a short while, just give it a quick rinse off with some safety clean um, in the wash tank, just to rinse off any excess. Um, don't use water. Water will it will cause oxidation and it will it will rust. This compound um, will actually prevent any oxidisation taking place. So make sure you use the right stuff. Don't just rinse it with water, please. Right, we're about ready now to give it a final rinse and start reassembling it. Okay, guys. Right, you're not believe the amount of carbon that's come out of this turbo. Just giving it a final rinse in the tank. Just have a look at this. Absolutely full of sludge and carbon. That's all come out of the turbo. Really, really, really impressed with the results. Naturally, in situ on the car, you would want to use an under tray, perhaps a bucket, or at least some method of catching this debris in, definitely. Um, really, I really want to just reinforce, if this is done properly, we'll have a successful repair. What I'd really like you to do when this process, cleaning process is taking place, use a Mitivac, get it on the actuator, and when this cleaning compound's in the turbo, make sure you operate the Mitivac, just, which will ultimately move the control ring. In turn, each vein will move, that any stubborn carbon deposits will be freed off. Move these rings as much as you can, Work the actuator as much as you can. That will really help free off all the carbon. When you come to rinse it, you'll have nice free turbo. Absolutely superb. It's like night and day what we had before. So yeah, I'm happy with that. You can see for yourselves the effect it's had on the inside of the turbo. That's what you're stunning. Okay. I just want to go over again very, very quickly this product or this method of cleaning turbos will remove carbon. It will not repair faulty turbos, it will not repair damaged actuators, it will not mend broken or faulty bearings in the turbo, it will clean carbon out. So if you've got that problem, this is the way to do it. So that's the rinse and cleaning procedure finished. Um, this, like I said, is a three-stage process, cleaning process. We've done the cleaning, we've done the rinsing, now it's time to help prevent this from happening in the future. For this we use a very, very intensive flush treatment into the fuel, apply this directly into the filter housing and not into the tank. If you put it into the fuel tank it will be less effective, more diluted. So put it directly into the filter, high concentrate, it'll have tremendous effects. Okay, so that brings this issue's how-to workshop to an end. My name's David Massey, thank you very much for watching.